Well, I've never pulled out a day in my life. <laughs> Are you recording now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Brent has 14 <laughs> children. Nope, that's not how gay sex works. I I know you experimented in college. So you have seven children then. Yeah, bro, I like tripled up with condoms, bro. <laughs> you make sure you got like four of those puppies on, right? That's what they always told me. Gosh, your thing's gotta be chafed to hell. <laughs> no, you just like, you like peel it back and then you just squirt the lube in. They, they say that uh, that you're not supposed to double up because of friction. That's a lie. That's a, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big brother government lie, bro. That's big... That's, that's <laughs> Every time we start recording, Brent's like, the big government's trying to get us. <laughs> that's, a big, we... that's a big condom, right? They don't want you to use the whole pack all at once. <laughs> they want they, they they want you to use them one by one by one. So, hmm. yeah. Are you, Did you just fucking <laughs> shit your pants? <laughs> David, David looked me in the eyes and shit his pants right in my fucking gaming chair. <laughs> that was that was that was. He that, had some kind of sweet release over there, and I'm not fucking ready for it. <laughs> that was more sensual than I was comfortable with. <laughs> Y'all need a room. I can like step out. For I didn't a want to be. I don't want to be any part of this. I, I don't know the face that David made. I didn't look at you, but uh, the, the face that David made whenever he just shit his pants. Uh, you ima- ima- imagine me, bro. He's looking at me. He's like. <sighs> I'm just like, let it out. I don't think it was intentional. You were just like in front of me. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> like it's your fault. Oh, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I was about to rationalize it, but I'm actually not going to now. What the fuck? Oh man, I'm sorry. Are you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you're you're sick of me. I'm, I'm sick. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we gotta give him a pass. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like when you're when you're running on the treadmill at the gym and there just happens to be someone like in your line of sight whenever you're in the fucking you have the nine thousand yard yeah. stare. Uh I do think it's only a thousand yards, but I nine thousand mm-hmm. yard nine stare. Nine thousand yard stare. Oh my god, he's doing that thing you talk about him doing. Son of a bitch. God damn it. It's kinda of, it's even it's nip, it's, it's cold in here. What do you guys want to talk I, about? I've cracked the window. What what's what's up with you right now? <laughs> Why are you breathing? This is your home. <laughs> this is my home. What's wrong? The, those suckers can cut glass right now, and you took your yeah, shirt I hate off. That. Why are your nipples what? so hard? <laughs> what's happening? He's embarrassed now. He's embarrassed about his nipples. Stop! Stop feeling your nipples. Let's do this freaking podcasting guy. We're gonna have to get another intern again. <laughs> this time it's gonna be David's fault. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is this is. I'm contacting HR about this. Dude, I'm freaking. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm very against free the nipple. <laughs> I I think we should be showing less nipple. <laughs> you, need all to, genders. you need to grow up. Oh, this guy! God damn it! There's nipples everywhere. <laughs> I just want to stand in solidarity with my pal. <laughs> My pal David. He just subjected you to that, and then and then out now you're on his side. Yeah, what's was, that about? I think he just got Stockholm syndrome. I just want to let him let him air out. <laughs> it's <that> easy. <laughs> you, you know, he, I he just, just gave you he Stockholm me up to a different lifestyle. You know, it's comfy, man. The nipple out lifestyle. Yeah, you just chill. I will keep my nipples hidden under this thin shirt. <laughs> what's holding you back, man? Yeah, what what's blocking you from living life to the fullest? Body dysmorphia. What gender do you identify as? Male. Okay. What gender do you identify as? Male. David? Uh oh. Interesting. (laughs) Male. Okay. (laughs) David, please do not take your fucking (laughs) pants off. Please don't double check and make sure. (laughs) (laughs) David, it's it's what you identify as. (laughs) We've established. We'll never see him again if you do. Uh, Weren't you here for last episode? Yeah, I was actually. Um, yeah, Kill Bill Volume Two. Yeah, we're back, baby. We're back. That still doesn't it's, really sound like, like it. I mean, we know what you're doing, but yeah. like, like we get it because bottom, bottom, bottom. It does that too. I don't think it doesn't like that. It does. Do we bring up 
freaking Stephen Hawking rolling around. <laughs> if you can have your shirt off, I can sit like this. I just That's want to fine. You can clear. grundle out right now. I'm grundling out at you. <laughs> I'm still sitting on the floor, folks. <laughs> Nothing's fucking, changed. This is the nips out episode. My nips are in, but my grundle's out. Maybe by the end of the episode, we'll get you to work them pup- <laughs> yeah, puppies we'll out. Yeah, we'll get you loose and get here, here, this is all you get. Oh my god, we got one nip. <laughs> I, put it, I put it back immediately. Oh man, he gave us one little nip flash. I didn't get it from this side. Come on, give yeah. me... You gotta do it on my side. Yeah, you gotta look away. Oh. <laughs> you only get oh. one. Oh. <laughs> he went... He went <laughs> yeah, that's how he did. He, like, <laughs> freaking, like... Locked his arm. <laughs> <and> he, like, <laughs> But yeah, freaking freaking roly poly Stephen Hawking was just it's wild. I really truly think that the that the scenario that was played out is totally not real. Like I think he can walk. <laughs> I I always insane. joke that he did not need that wheelchair, and this kind of like really helps my theory. I, I think that that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Have you, did you see that? No, man? the craziest thing you've ever heard is that Stephen Hawking was on Epstein Island multiple times. You know, I guess that's fair. Actually, you're totally Let's right. Let's suspend about that. some disbelief. So they said that he liked to invite people of like like high intelligence, high intelligence stuff. who had done a lot for humanity, but like that doesn't really incriminate anybody right i saw a thing earlier that he specifically liked to watch underage sex, sex orgies oh huh. can't validate yeah, that but i did yeah, see that you... i did see that and like a, it, was a, it was like an official document talking about it man but... the big bang theory has egg on its and face like, right now the memes of this have been the best thing for me <laughs> yeah just Stephen Hawking. I did see what the one I sent you about the about the the little people in the equations. That was that was a meme. That was fake. <laughs> okay, I thought that was fake. But I, I did see I one called... specifically about him like liking underage orgies. Huh. Which you know, like that sucks. Yeah, that's but, like, terrible. But the memes are pretty funny. Yeah, the memes are pretty funny. Well, but like, it's honestly a truly tragic. Thing. No, it's absolutely uh, human it's trafficking terrible. is human no trafficking true. is bad. Yeah, but. <laughs> but <laughs> what are you laughing about? Because I, he's, human trafficking is bad, but <laughs> that's exactly what just happened. I, I said human trafficking is no joke. Um, but <laughs> stop, stop. There's no but. There's just something. There's no but about it. But no, I'm not. The thing I'm not. That you no, just said. it's a it's a separate but. It's not like I'm like validating it. Whenever you say "but," it negates okay, the prior thing. Let's try again. <laughs> Human trafficking is bad, though. <laughs> that's, that's not better. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Oh, In the context. No. Uh, all right, all right. You get one last try, and then you're, you're fucking putting your shirt back on, fucker. <laughs> that's what's on the line. Yeah. <laughs> Human trafficking is bad. Correct. Okay. <laughs> but there's something no! about <laughs> Get that shirt back on, you son of a bitch. But there's something about just the cast of characters this opens up of who was on the island. Yeah. Like we've started at just an outlandish. There's a person. bad thing that's also happening though, where a bunch of people that were included in the documents are getting like their names lumped into this. Yeah. When the only reason their name showed up in the documents was like an investigator being like, was George Lucas on the island? And they're like, no. Did you ever see George mm-hmm. Lucas there? No. no. Did you ever suck George Lucas' dick? No. And that's the only Wait. reason why they were on like a list. <laughs> investigators just like fishing for celebrities to be have been yeah, on the island? I yeah. would. For, so, like, in some instances. like I, I just don't <laughs> understand. Like There is like, like Cameron Diaz. But his like, name why? showed up once in the fucking documents. Like, I mean, I just, agenda. No, 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 no. Those people that, like, if if George Lucas wasn't on the flight logs, why would you bring him up? No, I see where you're coming from on that one. Yeah, like, what's that? Like, well, on the flight logs, I'm pretty sure they're, like, they're all kind of like John Doe's. Like, I'm pretty sure there were straight up some names. There were some names, yes, but, like, some of them, I forget which one they're talking about. It was like, um, (laughs) Billard Clinton or Prince Andrew. It's like John Doe 36. Like, that name appears a lot. So they're yeah. trying to figure out like these John Doe's. So like, ah, was this? Okay, so I think the George Lucas one was an instance of of a uh, one of the victims telling like one of the investigators like, 
Jeffrey Epstein said he liked, like, he he was friends and knew George Lucas. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see George Lucas? No. Did you ever meet George Lucas? No. Did you ever know everybody? Okay. It's kind of, yeah, it's like, like, okay, like a dude context. was, like, behind it. And, and it was, makes sense. Almost, like, those people, like, it kind of feel bad because the context behind it is, like, Jeffrey Epstein said he was friends with these people, but, like, he just, like, said it. Like yeah. the people to be like, oh yeah, well I'm friends with fucking so and so, and like so and so is like, oh no, like imagine just being that guy that you're just like such a like a name that somebody would want to have in like their repertoire, yeah. that they name drop you, and now you're in a lot <clears throat> of fucking in a document somewhere. Yeah, th- that's like a that's like a like a it's gonna be a crazy like Unlike couple months. Alan Dershowitz, did you see the video? I did I not sent watch you? that video. Oh it my was, god, it's I was unhinged. working and it was so it's long. Like a, Alan Dershowitz's name is all not only all over the it's document, over, yeah. but he's like a bit like, like like one of the victims is like she, like basically he's, he's one of the bad ones. Yeah, he's one of the bad. Okay. He's one of the real bad ones, and. uh he goes on fucking Fox News on like Sean Hannity. That's what I would do. And, and he starts saying that it's like it's fake. It's not. It's not true. But then he, after after he like for like a minute and a half he goes on about like how it's like it's all not real. He says I'd like to see these radical feminists that are trying to get these names on this list. I want to see one of them condemn Hamas for the rapes. <laughs> Sorry, trigger warning. And 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 uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I want to see them condemn it for what they've done. And me too. He literally says, "Me too," unless you're a Jew. And flips it, and he's like, "I want to see all the people there, that all the radical feminists that are saying I did these things. What are they saying about what's going on in the, the Middle East?" What Never a... in all my years have I seen such a fucking flip flop. That's, Man, that's, that's the craziest. Stretched. What about ism? He didn't. I really hope he stretched. You know what a fox in his stretches? Yeah. Physically. Just like, like John mentally. Hannity, hell of a, John Hannity hell of a leap. moved and now does his show from Florida, and he announced that. Huh. I told him, he's like, I'm doing it from the good. I left New York like most Americans are doing right now. God, I hope more people leave New York so I can move yeah. there. That place is awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. God, I love Manhattan. Yeah. I don't... It's kind of yucky. Manhattan? Yeah. I mean, like, it's like. There's so many people. What if I told you our pizza was here? Is it? <laughs> yeah. What a well. This is this will be a great cutaway to go back into everything. Yeah. But, yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, are we gonna say who we are and what we do and what? what yeah. After gonna... we eat our pizza. Yeah. Let's oh. eat our pizza, dude. Oh, we should. We, but that'd be a perfect time to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm Brent. You're not gonna do it. <laughs> You're not gonna do it. You're gonna leave me hanging. <laughs> Because then you can say the thing, and he says the thing, and we say the thing, and then we push the pause button. Brent, what are you talking? We never do that. I hate you. If the, why? <laughs> why do you? Why are you use this time to pick on me? What? <laughs> you think me? You said that sound whole name is David. <laughs> would do such a thing? It's it's crazy when we're all gonna be we're gonna come out of this room for pizza like look half naked. <laughs> Caleb's gonna really wonder what goes on during these uh podcasts. David David said there's food and he's leaving. <laughs> I brought some cheese sticks for the road. Oh good, we're gonna hear that crunching the whole time. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero you are for us. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it won't be that bad, right? I'm David. And I'm Kevin. <laughs> you already and said I'm your Bren. name. Oh what? <laughs> This is the plot line. <laughs> Can't wait till we get more listeners and they see the pattern of you guys <laughs> bullying the one gay guy. <laughs> you can't make this a gay thing. It, you can't that make is not, like, that gay is not, not at all my motives behind this. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. You can't make this about you being gay. Guess again, bitch. Me and Caleb are just in a real long game of uh, chicken. A long gay of chicken. More like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never just get in a really long game of gay chicken. <laughs> David's got his shirt off right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just now started. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved upon. <laughs> I'm currently in check. <laughs> God, we suck. What the fuck is this? We're what are we doing? Tonight. We're stupid. <laughs> What's Kill Bill Volume 2 about, Kevin? Uh, Kill Bill Volume <laughs> 2 is about killing Bill. All right. 
<laughs> Still. <laughs> Uh, so this one, this one uh, opens up with a very interesting stylized scene of Uma Thurman narrating. She's just expositing for a minute, and then uh, we see Bill's old wrinkly ass, played uh, by David Carradine. I know you guys don't know that he's he's he was like a pretty big deal. You guys might know him. He killed himself when we were in high school. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. I don't know why that was what I decided to do for that. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> he, uh, he auto-asphyxiated himself. I found him in a closet leaning forward with a belt around his throat. Oh my god. What Ooh. a terrible way to... Was it like auto-erotic? Was it Probably. Like I don't know. I didn't read much into it considering I was like younger and didn't <laughs> care. But that's how he died. Rip. Sorry, Peter David Carradine. <laughs> Sorry to any any what was his what's his name? David Carradine. Sorry to any David Carradines listening to the podcast right now. The odds. <laughs> but yeah. He's he was like a huge like martial arts actor and stuff like that. That's how I know him. Yeah, I have no idea. I think think. He's ugly as Oh, fuck. he was wrinkly, yeah. Looks like a raisin that I left in the sun Bro, too long. Brent eating fucking mozzarella sticks on the podcast is probably the worst decision anybody's <laughs> ever made. I think it's just hilarious. We, what? We have absolutely <laughs> mailed this in, and I love it. All right. I fucking, let me tell you, I, I, I ate those things in like two minutes before. I know, it's just like, you're just making so many mouth noises and dude, gurgles. that's how mouths and... noise, dude. <laughs> dude, sometimes We've your body lost, gurgles. We've lost, David. David. <laughs> Brent's eating mozzarella sticks over there across the room. David's fucking loopy for some reason. He's going into a food coma, I think. David's barely consumed food for the last, like, four fucking five weeks. And he's eaten more food tonight than he has in that time. And you can tell it. He's fucking on a straight fucking high right now. There's so much this sugar movie. coursing through his veins from all the bread he ate. You, you might say it killed Bill this. No. It's <laughs> full fucking goblin mode right now. <laughs> Buckle up. Um, so, uh, well, we see Bill's wrinkly old ass. Uh, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh wait, no, yeah, no, the actor's no. fucking dead. Oh, he's dead. Um, well, well, don't kill yourself. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Trigger warning. Sorry, sorry, folks. Oh. I. I think I said rape yeah. earlier. You said it again. <laughs> Trigger warning. <laughs> what else should we say to get out of the way? <laughs> say the N word, Brent. Come on. <laughs> no, no. You don't really need a trigger. Samuel for that. Jackson's in this one. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's the. <laughs> Motherfucker stumbled on set also, for like three like, minutes. He's canonically dead. He was in that. He was in that church. They shot yeah, Samuel fucking... Jackson. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's super R. dead. R. Rufus. <laughs> he he literally was like, you know, he was on the set like, like. <laughs> Why am I not? Yeah, in he's this? just buddies with Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Like I gotta be in this, and Quentin Tarantino's like, I guess I'll let you die. Gotta Dale. hit that voice. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Um. So yeah. So so Uma Thurman is gonna marry the biggest idiot you ever saw. I don't know where you get that from. Huh? How's he an idiot? He seemed like yeah, a pretty, nice pretty, guy. pretty family oriented and stuff. Is it because he's from like yeah. frosted you... tips, even in black and white? Yes. Right. What do you have against El Paso? Everything. I don't know. I don't know. He just seemed like it. Because he's white. <laughs> I, I just fucking hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> it was racist <laughs> night we bad, dude. Like, we've been out. We've been just tiptoeing around every. We suck. We're bad humans. No, it's like we're bad it's humans. Just... Maybe, well, Brent... The problem with this story is there's not a whole lot you can say. But the stuff just happens, and it's like, Let's, like uh, it's uh, very paint by numbers. It's a very average they, they, like revenge they, they story. They show you what happened. Well, I mean, it's like pretty cool. They show you that the freaking freaking snake squad killed everyone. And... Yeah, you get, they, we get to see that again. How many different ways can I say? Watching Uma Thurman kill people is cool. <laughs> I mean, that's I'm running out of ways to Have say. Have preposterously awesome yet? Well, there's one. You know, here's the. I, you know what? But I am uh, going to use preposterous when we get to that part where she's in a box because that fucking. I was actually me about off. to get to that. Um. So you know what? I why I think we've become slightly racist on this episode. It's because 
the movie's kind of racist a little bit. It's fresh in our minds. Okay. This movie paints a lot of stereotypes about Asian people in general. And uh, some of them aren't good. You're telling me that the Grandmaster dressed in all white with a long white beard is a stereotype? He's supposed to, supposedly older than time itself. Yeah. He is racist himself. He... Uh, I'm not following. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess there's nothing racist about this movie. Um, <laughs> white people do fucking suck. So, you know, <laughs> fuck that white guy. Am I right, gamers? <laughs> and all their white friends. That bitch deserved to get her eye ripped out. Oh my god, we're really jumping all over the place. <laughs> but you're right. She nah, did deserve yeah, it. She was pretty bad. So um, basically, <clears throat> it, it's a playback, and then we start. She's hunting down Bud, also well, oh, known as Sidewinder. Well, hold on. Whoa, what a cool name that I'd never yeah, fucking I showed it. Captured. Sidewinder. Huh. I didn't get that either. So, that new information actually, for me Brent, too. you're fucking wrong. I have a lot to talk about in this one. That's not just Uma Thurman <laughs> is cool and fighting people. Uh, for one, why did Sidewinder... His name was Bud. Bud. Weird. Buck, Bud. Heck, it sucks. Um... Why did Bud lie to Bill about selling his katana? I wonder. Maybe he planned on getting... Thought he could get another one out of it. Ooh, he could get a second one? Yeah. So, I hate Bud's character. I felt bad for him a little bit last night, because, like, his brother just lets him live in, like, a hut. It's not a hut, it's a trailer. trailer. But that's, like, white people hut, you know? No, white people hut's pizza hut. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, brother. Um, his brother just his brother's like this like crazy rich fucking grand killer. I don't understand how where these people get their money, Kalen. But like, is there someone that like gives them? Yeah, contracts. Contracts. If you guys were killers, what would your secret cool name be? Jackknife. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, we got Jackknife. What do you took mine? (laughs) (laughs) Jackknife and Jackknife. Let's go. What would yours be? Don't say Jackknife. There's already two of us. (laughs) I was I was kind of hoping he'd say Jackknife. I I don't know. You can't say that's a terrible code name. (laughs) The Shank Man. The Chess Man. I'd be the Shankman. The Shankman? Yeah, the Shankman. Shankman. <laughs> the, the Shankman. Irvin Shankman. I Irvin. think that's a terrible name, frankly. You gave me shit for a jackknife, but you're the Shank guy. No, no, I'm Shankman. Okay, Shank fella. <laughs> hey. Shank boy over here. You can't appropriate my name like Shankman. <laughs> like, what kind of Shank? Are you just making, like, a fucking... Like a fucking... Shit, yeah, that's, why, that's why I'm a cool fucking assassin because I can fucking make a shank out of anything. I'm the shank. So unpractical. So you are not a. You have to be like. <laughs> what do you mean unpractical? I can make away. anything you have to be into one a shank. Anyone you're trying to kill. But now I'm gonna be like a bullseye. Yeah, you, shank you got like, freaking <laughs> jackknife and jackknife over here sniping a <laughs> hundred yards away. Yeah, jack. Okay, jackknife. So <laughs> you guys can be jagging each other off while You'd I'm. You'd like that, with, wouldn't oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying about Bud? You just hate Bud. Oh, I, 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 so, okay, yeah. So, like, episode. I think Bud is a fucking idiot. And, and here's why. I was really frustrated watching this movie, and I and I shouldn't have said anything about it, because, like, at the time, and I, and because you guys know, now know, um, what the fuck is he doing with his life? Nothing. He... Why do you because care? Because it pissed me off, all right? I think it was meant to. Maybe it was... He went from being, like, a world-renowned assassin in a fucking cool assassin kill squad. From the way everyone else talked about him, I don't think he was cool in the squad. Everyone did he not like it. Bud. He was in it, and he was making tons of money on contracts. I mean, yeah. Like, presumably. Idiots can kill. But, like, why the fuck did he go from, like, A, like, what did he do with all of his money that he got from killer? Beer. Beer, Spit. that's it. Dip in beer. Yeah. It just dip in beer, that's it. And yeah, this yeah, economy, yeah. yeah, that flies by. It wasn't this yeah. economy. It was it was like two thousand three economy. George Bush's economy. Even yeah. I actually don't think it was worse. The economy sucks right now. 
You could buy a it's house back too, then. It's actually not doing too bad. You know, the Nasdaq is like the it's the best it's been since 1999. That doesn't mean anything for like the common person. Things still cost a lot right now. Gas is cheaper right now than it's been in, like the past three years for me. I can get gas for like two fifty down the I road. Think, I don't think gas is that good back home, is it? I haven't bought it gas. It was under three. It was like two ninety four when I filled up. Two ninety four. I remember going back to Parkersburg a couple days ago and being like, "Oh, we gotta get gas in Columbus because it's more expensive than Parkersburg what the fuck right is now." It's just crazy. Our hometown. Nothing. <laughs> Try that in a small town. Um, but yeah, no, he's this guy's just an idiot, right? Oh, uh-huh. bud. Because he could be making money doing any number of things related to his prior line of work. He has probably a pretty good resume as a fucking trained killer, but he just, he just fucking, he's a bouncer at a fucking strip club and he's treated like shit and I just don't, I don't get it. It pisses me off. <laughs> Missed. What were you trying for? <coughs> my pants? The bag. You hit my pants. <laughs> Perfectly. Um, so Bud doesn't piss you guys off either. No, the whole thing doesn't just no. piss you off. No, he's just living. He's yeah. You know what p- pisses me off? He puts her in a box and she super saiyans her way out of it. That yeah, makes Bud me did really come mad. closest to off. killing her. Let's be honest, though. Yeah, it makes me really <laughs> fucking mad. Apparently, so mad they had to have a fucking MythBusters episode to tell you that shit's yeah. bullshit. Did we? Did we ever determine? I never like, watched like, the MythBusters it's episode. It's irritating for me because like. The like the like that like that's where it crosses the line. <laughs> I don't that's know where why. That's, out. For, that's where I. That's where I'm like, okay, well, this is too yeah. much. Like her beating up 88 bad guys. I'm cool with that. That's fucking sick. That's awesome. Her fucking put like, and they go out of their way to like. He goes out of his way to be like, no, no, this makes sense in a story ways because that old guy taught her how to break the wood. But no, I still call bullshit because what is she? She literally like superhero spirals her way out of the fucking dirt and like mud, and I'm just like, that makes it literally well, makes no that sense. That old guy and I hated was, it. Was according to fucking Bill, over a thousand years old. This yeah, isn't a real I, world. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay this isn't a realistic world that we're but, living in. Or the part where she fucking super saiyan twirls out of the fucking dirt makes me mad, and I think that's a, bullshit. A thousand year old, where old man out. can punch it, clean through two inches. Look at him. Did you see him? He was definitely the actor wasn't a thousand years old, but in I universe, I would in it. universe, he's a thousand years yeah. old and he can punch through two inches of the wood. But it's also not that fucking cool either because he also gets like murdered in, on in like a really lame way too. Like, how is he not? How? Why didn't he make his own food? Like that's crazy. Yeah, I would have if I were him because he's like a fucking because he's a racist asshole. And he was <clears> like <throat> the whole movie. He was like, "You're gonna fucking do this for me because you fucking are a white scum." I don't know. I think Uma Thurman is like super powered all the way through. Both of them. I think she really goes Super Saiyan in this one, specifically in that one scene that I that it took well, me she's out. Like of a, it. She's like a supernatural force, right? She's like she's like Jason. From, but like it's never so like ham fucking fistedly shoved in your face. In Jason, where I, no, in the fucking prior fucking two hours we spent oh. with the character, and then all of a sudden she's fucking literally got like gold fucking trials and she's fucking bursting through the fucking. It's like what's happening? She's actually glowing as she's fucking twirling through the fucking dirt up and out of fucking her six foot. Well, grave. the problem is, is that she 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 was like building up power after being in a coma for four years. Stop. Don't she give was, her superhero lore. She's not a fucking she was, she superhero. Was, Quentin Tarantino just didn't know how to get out of that fucking box after he put her in, and he's like, fuck, she's just gonna fucking superpower yeah, she punch has through superpowers. it. she superpowers. That's... You just... You just... <laughs> and then she never uses them again. Yeah, she does. What does she do? She grabs a lady's eye out with perfect precision. But that's not... She, like, literally... I, I, you, did you miss the part where she glows like Captain Marvel and fucking spins out of that goddamn coffin and, like, spins out of six feet and, and, and like, flies through the dirt and punches her hand up through the fucking... Did you miss she that part? She also got shot in the chest and all of her bullet wounds were gone. She, she glowed! She glowed! And she flew through she dirt! She pokes Bill five times in the chest and his heart explodes. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. When you put it like that, <laughs> <laughs> they're not even like they're, it's not even hard punches. Like, no, she was well, like, like the, it is funny in the first one. Like she fights all her fights with swords, and they're like, yeah, she's just really good. And then the second one, they're like, 
<sighs> she's she's like just let her win. She has like superpowers or something. It, she's like a she's a supernatural force. They're filmed back to back too. I hate they that. were these movies were released six months apart. The second one is arguably worse. I I th- I thought it was fun. I think it's good, but it's still not as good as the first one. The, the part where she super stains out of the grave really is like take it down. It's like four points for me. She has like fucking training from a guy who's a thousand years old. What do you think that guy knows? That doesn't fuck. And he gets taken out fucking like so he's a thousand easily. That years guy old. Sucks. She's only like what like fucking that guy fucking 30? sucks. Maybe, maybe, maybe she's a fucking Eldritch God too. I don't fucking well, know. Well, whenever a guy who's a thousand years old teaches you everything he knows at the ripe age of thirty, then you got a lot of fucking fucking future foresight, you know. He also taught that guy named Bill. So he's not he didn't teach that Bill great. everything. Per- no, no, apparently he didn't not. Teach Bill, the- you know what? He was like, he never said why she. Because she, she she's that. the fucking best. Because the fucking plot says she's so. the that's baddest why. bitch that ever lived, and that's no, what this movie's because, trying to tell like, you. He taught you that, and she's like, "You're goddamn right." No, you're dude. just mad but about it. Earlier <laughs> in the plot, he was like, "He doesn't teach that to fucking anybody." You dumb fucking super yeah, bitch. and that's how you know that she's the baddest bitch who ever lived, brother. Everybody wants it's, her. Don't you just think it's a little convenient that everybody she goes to that's sworn off a thing is like, you know what? Because she's hot. I got you, fam. <laughs> Brent. She ain't that Brent. hot. Men want her. Women want to be her. I don't know. She's she's her. Her name's fucking Beatrice. Beatrix. Beatrix. Oh, oh. Beatrix kiddo. Ooh. Because that's tricks the worst are for fucking, kids. That's the worst fake porn name I've ever fucking it's heard. It's supposed to be cheesy. It's in the style of a fucking cheesy 70s movie. That doesn't mean it that doesn't make it's it like good. It's like a cheesy 70s kung fu movie. That doesn't make it good. I, I disagree with you. You think just because it's supposed to be cheesy that makes it good? It's like fun. It's not supposed to be that serious. Just because it's fun doesn't mean it's good. I like it. <laughs> I mean, you're like right, but like Michael Bay Transformers. I like fun. the first one. First one's good. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's also good. The first, first one's, one's good. good. <laughs> Second fun. one's all right. They're fun. The third fun. one. That's where you start to lose me. Really? Because I like the third yeah. one a lot. Yeah. But... That's crazy. Four? It's got Patrick, it's got everyone's four. favorite Patrick Dempsey. It's also got everyone's favorite Leonard Nimoy as the fucking Sentinel Prime. Is Leonard Nimoy Sentinel Prime? He, yes, he is. He's fucking awesome. When you rewatch I it, I really got to like, rewatch that head, one. Oh, it's fucking Fuck. sick. And it's just Spock yelling at Optimus Prime about saving Cyber Cybertron. It's um, pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like I don't think it's that kind of movie. I don't think it's supposed to be taken so so seriously at face value for what it yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, I s- see that's my problem because the first one is very like serious. I see where Brent's coming from. Her, yeah, sparking out of the ground is pretty stupid. It, that, that's just like, the rest was it was like silly but also grounded enough for me to be like she gets shot in the head and survives that. I know someone in real life who got shot in the fucking mm-hmm. head and survived that. Like you can fucking like all this shit is stuff that you could reasonably a strong willed person can fucking survive. I, I ain't no fucking no nobody who could fucking fucking fly out of a goddamn grave and fucking that's just it just it took me out of it. I mean, I just I, I, I was like, I, OK, like, I guess it didn't take me out of it because it just progressively gets crazier and crazier the whole time. Like the whole movie, it just gets crazy. In a way that like, made sense. No, with the re- like no, to me, like with the like, universe they were building, and then like that's just where it just like blew its load for like in like a way that like, I just was like, that's too much. Like, you did, you did, you did. As too much. this world starts to unfold, it makes less and less sense. Like all of it, like even down to like the like Uma Thurman jumping around in the last one, like she's weightless while killing eighty eight guys. <laughs> But, like, that is not, I don't have a, I, for some reason, don't have a problem with it. Because it's, like, somehow still based in reality. She's not fucking glowing and fucking flying. She was flying. She's, <laughs> she was glowing to me. She was, like, j- like, shut up. <laughs> no, I just, like, she, it wasn't, like, she wasn't fucking super personing. She I don't know. was. She was just being a cool ninja lady. She, she being was being a cool ninja lady. She There's literally difference. flew in that, that fucking sequence. She, she she was like like jumping off of stuff without weight or gravity affecting her because she's a fucking ninja, ninja, not a super fucking sane Captain Marvel flying out of a fucking six foot grave. I don't know. She's just her, bro. No, she's not. She's just bullshit. I'll fucking tell Quentin Tarantino that's his do fucking it. face. I'll be like, hey, you know that part in Kill Bill two? You were stupid for that. Why did you do that? You fucking big like, idiot. Nah. <laughs> 
And be like, actually, but actually, I just wanted to see your feet. And you know what? I respect it. <laughs> yeah, he fucking got you. In, the, in this, in the, in that fucking hypothetical, he fucking wins. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm Team Tarantino yeah, over here. Fucked. Yeah, I actually wrote this whole two set of films just so I could have that one seat where I could play with your feet. Yeah, guys playing chess. You're playing checkers. I don't want to play that game of anything with him. You're lost. Yeah, you're lost. Yeah. You know his name is plastered all on every single one of these fucking movies in big old, big old letters. Bill. Harvey Weinstein. Oh yeah, that's true. A Harvey Weinstein production. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to know where Quentin Tarantino's been. Yuck. Oh, uh, so while Uma Thurman was digging out of the grave, <laughs> Bud died. Yeah, Bud got fucked. Bud died from a freaking snake bite. Yeah, what an unfortunate way to die. But also, fuck him. Yeah, whatever. He, he, he honest, I like. I stopped feeling bad. I felt bad for him at first because he was like he lived he lived in shithole and. Well, not, but I stopped feeling bad yeah, for him after. All my homies hate Bud. Yeah. Came his, the close uh, to killing him, but... His death led to a really cool sword Yeah, fight. yeah. So he got fight. killed by the eye patch lady who is, uh, like, the African West snake something. She's the West Isle virus. <laughs> She's the baddie missing an yeah, eye. Yeah, she was a baddie. It really? I, mean, I didn't find her very attractive, personally. Wow, I was about to say it's, like, universal. Anyone with an eye patch just look a little I don't, hot. I, so I, I don't, I don't the, go off that, but, um... Yeah, I don't either. I thought the eye patch took away from it. That's crazy. Yeah, I think the eye patch makes, makes the whole look California for her. California Mountain Snake, which is the lamest of the snake names they've yeah, had so far. Fuck? It's like they ran out. Really? I, I feel like California Mountain Snake is pretty Can fucking Can you say hard. that in your fucking microphone, please? <laughs> I think California... Mountain Snake goes pretty that was hard. actually at the perfect volume. I love you. <laughs> Do you? Oh, I love you too. I my Dang. second pawn out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Much like the second half of this movie, things are getting too crazy yeah. for me. Um, Good sword fight in the trailer. Yeah. Um, It, it ends with an fight. eye pluck out. That was disgusting. Oh, man, that and was crazy. She squished it with her toe. Yeah. Another foot shot. <laughs> Kevin yells, "What did you yell?" Ew. Oh my, no, 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 no! Well, in the during the fight scene, I was like, they were like fucking clashing swords, and Uma Thurman was like, "Fuck, how do I get out of this one?" I was like, "Plug the bitch's eye out!" And then fucking milliseconds later, she just grabs that bitch's eye and just has it in her hand. It was great. It was it was a pretty fun moment. <laughs> yeah, it was just like yeah. that. You plug that bitch's eye out, and then she plugged that bitch's eye out, and you were like, "Yeah." <laughs> Very very few times do you yell at your TV screen and it fucking it happens answers. Or something and it, it does. Yeah, um, that's pretty sick. And when you really break down this movie, it's a very quick movie. Uh, there's not a lot that happens. Because, like, after this, she, like, goes to the cartel, meets this guy who's just his head over heels with her, believe it or not. Every man is. <laughs> Guys want her. Ladies want to be her. Exactly. She's um, her. She, The it girl. <laughs> and... He's like, I also like how, like, every person's like, they know Bill. <laughs> like, every person she goes to, of course, knows Bill. And they're like, she's like, hey, help me kill him. And they're like, fine. fine. Like, yeah. I'm going to draw you a map right to where he is. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe that. <laughs> and he that said, fucking. <sighs> his reasonings. He'll probably want to see her pretty face again. And I was like, oh, my gosh. He's going to die. Like, she's going to kill him. He would want me to do this. <laughs> That's what he says. He's like, he'll want me to, I think, want me to and do it. You know what? Honestly, not even going to lie. I think Bill did want him to do it. Can you imagine I mean, if like Bill's watching TV and she walks in? He's like, what the <laughs> heck? How the fuck did you find me? He drew me a map. He, that he, he what? A, that old piece of shit. <laughs> that old son of a bitch. I beat him in poker the other night. He's <laughs> being a real sore loser about that. <clears throat> that motherfucker. This has put a real wrench in my plans tonight. I'm gonna I, be... was, I was... <laughs> Trying to watch MASH tonight, and, yeah. and you you showing up here really, really fucks that up. First off, kicking the door open. Let's talk about that, all right? Come on. And now you want me to validate your parking? What the fuck? <laughs> Mud in the house. So she follows the map, yeah, and she, she, she there, the map. <laughs> and she realizes her Brent's fucking kid fucking is still alive. <laughs> and she realizes, whoop de doo the, the baby's still alive, and it's four and it's a really touching now. moment, honestly. Yeah, I, I actually really was like, up, actually. I was confused. I I would have shot Bill and dead in the fucking I'm sorry, face. I think Bill was being a good father. Yeah, that, ba- that 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 kid seemed to have it pretty made. He was, I actually, I, I don't know where I stand. 
Like, they're both terrible people. That's the thing. This story doesn't have a hero at all. It, everyone sucks, really. It's just like, who sucks the least yeah. morally? I'm rooting for Beatrix Kiddo, right? Mm-hmm. But only because she's the protagonist. Yeah. Like, if it was called Kill Beatrix, and Bill was our guy... It'd be, we'd be, it'd be the same thing, but different. Well, no, I think <laughs> that sounds yeah, that was the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard you say. That was just like word vomit. It'd be like the same thing, but just like different. No, it would actually be still pretty. I, no, actually, let me just take a step back. Bill's the antagonist. He shot her in the fucking head, and then she got oh, he overreacted. Defiled over it. Yeah, no. Now that you now that you're saying it. Now that you're saying it out loud, yeah, you know, I I was totally off base whenever I said that uh that uh they both suck because he actually does really just suck. Yeah, he's a bad person. He's terrible. I mean, like they're both still bad people, but he definitely sucks more. <laughs> but no, I like I like they did a backstory too about why like Beatrix left him and stuff. It was a good like exposition. Yeah. She left because of the baby. Yeah, so straight up, she would have just been a trained killer or a contract killer. Yeah, like. Still, um, to this day, had she not got pregnant, like I said, there was just touching moments about like her kind of like Bill let her hang out with the daughter and stuff. Like, yeah, he had no issue with that. I actually don't even think. I think if Beatrix reacted a little different, it was just like, "Fuck, what is this even all about?" I think that I think the movie could have had a very very different. I don't think Bill wanted to fight her. No, like in that moment, I think he was just happy that. Family. Like he got a yeah, he had like his family for a minute. Which is kinda it's like kinda sad. Yeah, that's it's really honestly a, a really sad ending. Mm-hmm. Like like it's happy because our hero I say shakily fucking gets her her comeuppance, you yeah. know, or, or not her comeuppance, Bill gets his comeuppance. She gets her, her like she gets what she wants. She gets her happy ending. She gets, yeah, her, she gets her revenge, her happy ending. Uh, so like I guess it's like good in that regard but it's like this whole whole crusade is built probably like 75 percent on misunderstanding mm-hmm. but it's also bill's fault for all of this to happen like like he could have i don't know been closer or something monitor her more yeah. closely and you have to remember she doesn't know her kids alive yeah and that's that's why she's going on this whole fucking crusade because yeah. she thinks that her kid's dead like she like, was she was doing this just <clears throat> as to, uh, like get revenge there was no yeah and I, I don't think she even she didn't even care about the people that much that she was with whenever bill killed her pres- mm-hmm. or like thought he killed her right those people were just like a cover for her mm-hmm. so that she could live her life with her kids yeah i love the monologue bill gave when he was making sandwiches and stuff yeah because it it was just great because when she was at the true serum too like she even managed like she didn't think that was gonna work yeah no that it was built on very shaky ground mm-hmm. it was very hasty yeah like three months time she found a guy convinced him to marry her yeah like like it's not like no matter what she does she's always gonna be like beatrix kiddo like yeah. the assassin mm-hmm. uh, i think that i think the superman spider-man monologue was pretty funny because like i really liked it i i i I was i was thinking about it though and like a lot of spider-man comics it's like like he gives up a lot of his life because he's spider-man you know Mm -hmm. and it's like the same thing with like like any of the the big superheroes like they're it was mostly trying to blend in yeah peter parker didn't have an issue blending in with normal people yeah superman did yeah which is another parallel to her being a fucking literal god yeah, yeah, there it is. What There's as soon your as, explanation? As soon as she was named, she had godlike power. As soon as she was named, well, sometimes a name is all someone has. Um, I think that's a very interesting plot point. I just fucking yeah, that's pulled together. <laughs> interesting. If that is the case, that's don't give the feet man more credit. <laughs> um, the footman. But yeah, I just uh, yeah the that the whole movie. I I I actually really like this one. It, it did she have killed some Will with the five finger death punch. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh fuck, you just hit me with that five finger." <laughs> and then he's like, "Do I look good to die?" And then, <laughs> and then took... he's like, "It's okay. Well, I'm gonna go do that with my thing." Oh now. yeah, that was the sad part for me because she was like, 
Like, it's like almost like she didn't want to kill him either. Like, she was like, sad. Yeah, they had like a touching I've moment at the end. I always thought my biggest thing with this movie, I'm like, what if he's like, I have a wheelchair? He just never took five steps ever. He's just uh, never stepped. He's just rolling around with his heart. It's like, oh, they could have had a, had like a thing. Yeah. They, she could, they, they could have just wheelchaired him around. He could have just been a vegetable. Yeah. I, what if he forgot one day and he got up like pretty <laughs> shit? What if, it, what if it wears off? Like, like, <laughs> If he just like waited long enough, it'd like just, like, every couple out. years, Uma Thurman. You, th- is, like, you think? <laughs> do you think that's the real? Do you think that thing's real? You think you could do that to someone? I f- is that real? No, he probably could. Poke them five times in the chest, and their heart fucking. That's explodes. like the fucking. That's that's what. If you can, should have done like, of um, it happened to the football player last year. He went to make a tackle, and his heart was in such a weird rhythm when, as he made the contact, that it stopped his heart, and he went in cardiac arrest. Yeah, but it's like, like. Like it, it's different because this is like a cheat code. It's like a statistical anomaly that if you did try that, it would happen. But there has to be at least some micro percentage. I want to fucking push someone buttons on Kevin's chest and make his fucking heart. That's explode. pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, if you boy, say. Dude. Brent's trying to kill me this episode. I don't really got anything else to say. It's like it's dude. a very brisk movie when you like play by play. It's so much it's longer like what than I the last said, one. It's, hard to t- it's kind of hard to talk about them because like not a lot really happens. Like you could really summarize the whole story in like a th- three minutes. Well, like, you know, boom. I had a whole thing and then you guys are just like not receptive to it about how Bud's a fucking kitty. Man, you walked into this thing. Fuck if you Bud. thought If you walked into this thing and Bud was going to be the highlight of this one. Then I it. just, it's just like the way that they portrayed <laughs> Bud really pissed me off. <laughs> Kevin's like, why'd they make Bud do nothing? Yeah, he was, <laughs> I don't know. They started with the name Bud. I just... Like, his brother is named Bill, and, like, that's not a fucking great, great, like, fucking doer's name. Why does name? Bill have to have, why does Bud have to have aspirations for you? I don't why can't know. Bud just be you fucking see yourself he's, in Bud? he's depressed. He looks depressed. I, I think he does see himself in Bud. He just wants better for Bud. Just, are, you, are you, like, projecting? No, it's just, uh, like, it's just frustrating, because Bud is clearly unhappy in his home environment. He clearly can do better things he just chooses not to and he's depressed about it and like i just don't get it that's <laughs> interesting we found out a lot tonight <laughs> <laughs> we're learning a lot <coughs> about each other i'm not projecting anything that's <laughs> wild <laughs> that's unironically are you, are you? wild are you yeah, okay? I'm fucking fine. I'm just pissed off about fucking Bud. <laughs> I think you need to think a little more deeply about why you're so mad about Bud. Just... <laughs> I think you need to spend some time with yourself there's a whole, and your There's thoughts. like a whole, whole fucking line that Bill has about how much fucking money Uma Thurman was making being an assassin. Bud was also an assassin with her just four years ago. What happened? How did he go from being an assassin to being a fucking bouncer at a strip club? Like, what, what the change, fuck? Change of scenery or job, man. No, that's not a change. That's not a good one. Like, the pay cut's just too absurd. No, no fucking change of scenery is worth that fucking shitter being like, you're gonna take off your dumb hat because I, because I own you. All this Bud sympathies made me have I'm to shit. I'm not sympathizing with up? Bud. I'm pissed off about you're it. You're fucking Bud I'm sympathizer. I'm not Bud sympathizer. You're, t- you're team and, Bud. I'm not. And I've got to poop. So let's fucking. Well, we can't let him poop his pants. So. We can. <laughs> <laughs> what are we rating Kill Bill Volume 2? I'm giving it 9 out of 10 bills killed. Damn. I give it 6.4 thousand year old ancient Asian snails. I hate that you raced the snails. <laughs> you gave the snails a race. <laughs> <laughs> this picture of the beard. Now. To him. Yeah, exactly. That was the point. I gave it eight eyeballs ripped out of that bitch's skull we'll out of ten. Alright, five words or less. How the fuck she get out that box? Okay, well, hold on. Um, what is Bud doing? I, it's great on brand for you. Someone called the Mythbusters. All right. <laughs> Daughter needs therapy. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Her yeah. parents openly talked about them wanting to kill each other, and she, like, totally stomped out a goldfish. Yeah, she stomped out a goldfish. Yeah, so, like, you know, she's going to need some therapy. <sighs> Well, this was an absolutely mess. mess. 
I like these episodes. The chaotic Dude, this ones was, are the fun this was ones. All, this, in my head, I'm like... Probably not fun for you to edit, but it's fun for me to participate in. It's so hard to listen to sometimes. The fact that you volunteered for this one, too, is wild. Oh, I, I, I'm an idiot. Dude. I'm just stupid. I'm just a dumb motherfucker. You gave clearly. me, like, the freaking clean, concise Just one. like Bud. Huh? Just like Bud. Not just like Bud. There's nothing there. I don't know what you guys are... What parallel you guys are trying to draw. There's so much there. I don't think so. <laughs> Man. One day you'll buy a mirror. One day you'll what understand. What the fuck does that mean? That you are Bud. I... I'm Brent. I'm David. And that's Bud. <laughs> I'm <laughs> that's Kevin, Bud. not Bud. And this has been the plot line. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs>